it's finally time to update you guys on our Narnia trails. I do apologize for taking so long, but we actually didn't ride or build here very much last year, unfortunately, because of injuries and schedule differences. So last fall, when we really started to put more work into it, it was a bit of a mess. Now in today's video, we're actually gonna be building a whole new step up, which will be really fun for trying tricks on. But before we get to that build, let me update you guys on how things are improving with the existing lines. In the last video, I showed this cool run into a shark fin jump, but the landing was not very good. Oh, shit. We got to make lots of adjustments to make this landing a lot better and also the lip a bit better as well. So this is like more of a shark fin. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take some of the dirt out here and just move it so because it's so wide and these feet wide. And then Josh decided to make a whole drop line into this really steep chute which joins up with this landing. He built a drop out of pallets which I do not recommend. It's pretty sketchy. But yeah, Josh is just kind of doing his own thing there. So <laughs> he put a sweet lip on it because he actually wants to backflip it. It's pretty gnarly for sure. He hasn't ridden it with the slip on it yet though. But it's not the flip that I'm worried about, it's just the run out. Josh and some friends were building it last summer and that's when he hit it for the first time, just as a flat drop. See how it goes. Woo! You're good! Woo! After I hit the drop, I did one first test run and it was pretty mellow. I hit the drop and just went like so much faster than I thought. And Josh was also filming his own kind of vlog content, but he never ended up posting it ever. So I don't know if you guys want to see Josh make some videos, maybe give him some love in the comments. That's pretty awesome. But back here at this shark fin jump landing, what we got to do is transfer a lot of dirt from that inside out to the outside so we have a better angle to land on. So this berm needs to get made like way bigger, considering the kind of speed you got coming down here. Especially if you do Josh's crazy drop line, sending it down here, or even if you do that shark fin jump, into here, and then got a wooden jump. Not much of a landing yet. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ridden it yet, but. I like this, uh, this fern that makes you not see the landing. <laughs> Where am I going? Eventually we ended up deciding to just put some bigger logs on the landing to kind of move it a little bit closer somewhat. And this should be about right, but we still gotta test it out later though. But there is a new feature to talk about here at Narnia, started by Wesley and Josh last fall. They found a perfect spot for a new, more smaller size, more trickable step up. It's a lot of dirt to move, but it'll be a fun jump once it's done. This is sort of the new project we're undertaking here, so we're gonna build a good run into it and a good landing and a run out that connects back to the other lines. During the winter time, we actually got it rideable. Now, I missed this day when they were testing it out for the first time. Oh! What? So much better. So smooth. But they were actually clearing it. And it's definitely running slow right now compared to what it'll be in the springtime. <laughs> it works. Jada. It works. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> 
Sometimes I lose my mind, get a little ratchet. Just want cash out to get his hard from that place where they move right bricks and the cops say hi with a damn nice stick. But the broad daylight and we still hear licks. Rock 10 gold chains, he still ain't. So a little something, get a little lit, just might go in my shot when I split. Brick a brick, get this sticker. Send a shot, so you get the picture. Just lying back, switch the filter. We know how you look. Michael Jackson through. So we've made this stop jump. Wesley and some of the boys tested it out recently and it yeah. kind of worked. You guys are clearing it, right? Yeah, and that was like the snow and ice. We are sinking a bit on the lip. Yeah. Worked out though. Sweet, so then uh, we got the lining, otherwise it dead ends, but we are going to be extending it out. We're going to meet up with another line. So right here, we've been riding this line uh, last year. You've seen some footage of this, dropping in, and then into that big step up there. We still need to lower that one step up a bunch because we're definitely not clearing that thing, but that's a project for another time. So I got started clearing the whole path away. Got some progress today. Brush, this the boost master's machine. All right guys, we're back in Narnia. The weather's looking amazing. It's early March, springtime is coming and we're gonna be fixing up this step up line and uh, make sure it's rideable today. Got our landing, here's the run out. Obviously this is a big hump, which is kind of lame. We might want to try and dig that away to make it a proper smooth landing through here. But regardless, it's just kind of flat as we make it into the other line as I showed you last time. Gonna fix up this lip, it's gonna be sick. Looking pretty nice, you guys. I think it's ready to send. Landing is nothing special, but that's okay. Just wanna practice it for now, see how it feels. The run-in does look pretty interesting and kind of blind as you wanna stay left as you go over this hump, but you don't wanna to go too left into the trees because then you gotta be turning right to line up for the step up. And then you wanna aim, yeah, so just to the right of that tree there. Yeah, sick. Alrighty then, let's do this. Got my body armor on. My hockey pads, dropping in. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Wow, nice. Woo, that was sweet. Okay. Wow. That was fun. Yeah, I want to be able to straighten out like right away. <laughs> Sick. Fresh tracks. Woohoo! Nice! So I'm gonna wanna try and go a bit left. Alright. Felt good. Right on. While we're here, I figure it's also a good idea to finally clean up this big step up run in. We gotta get this thing running soon again and actually hit it. I haven't ridden this in a couple years. Well, we got a bit of sad news. Josh's sketchy drop had a tree fall on it and totally destroyed the lip. I can't say I'm sad at all. I mean, he made it out of pallets. Give me a break. It was flimsy and it was gonna fall apart on its own anyways. Sorry, Josh, just being honest. But that does not compare to the sad news of losing a friend. Maddie L was a shredder and I had the privilege of riding and filming with him a number of times in the past. It's actually been a while since I last ridden with him. I think it was that Kamloops video from 2018. Might have been the last time I ridden with him. Life gets busy and we didn't really have the chance to ride together as often. He did put some work out here in Narnia and we wanted to make this plaque in memory of him. I think that looks good, huh? And back to that shark fin landing that we were looking at earlier in this video, it did get built up a bit nicer and that berm is now finally getting built up better. 
Alex and Josh are out here building up this berm so we can send the wood jump after it. Now I seem to have gotten tennis elbow or some kind of tendonitis recently so I won't be able to ride today unfortunately. And that's affected my ability to film for some new videos that I'm really wanting to make right now so that's really frustrating. But I'm just glad I got enough footage to make this Narnia update for you guys, even if I'm not riding in it as much as I'd like. We have to dig this out. Yeah. Well, you just feel like you can't really do much until you're there and you'd like to be set up earlier if you could. Yeah. I want to hit it once more. When you're hitting that, like no brakes, I think the speed will be perfect. Dude. Nice. After a little bit of trial and error, the boys know what needs to be done to this berm to make it even better. We sort of lowered the first area, we kind of made the berm just a bit higher up. It's going to keep our speeds even better now. Yeah, that's definitely going to feel better, I can tell. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Yo. Huh. Think you can clear the jump? I think so, yeah. Mm hmm. Woo! That's it. That looks perfect. And Josh decides to send it. You landed uh, a little short, right here. Yeah, yeah. I I was like, I'm coming up short. I'm gonna. I should. I was in the air. Like, should I jump off? And then I was gonna jump off, and then my foot started shaking. I was like, I got it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's uh, it's getting closer every time. This will probably definitely be my last ride on it. Yo. Huh. That felt good. Woo! That was crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. You like, you really have to go full of speed. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> right? Yeah. For like a guinea pig feeling, that's kind of sketchy. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked for the boys. We're getting it. This jump is working out. Whoa. That was so Whoa! good. Yeah. That was minty. That was so good. Dude, you did it perfectly, that man. Oh, buddy. Oh, yo. Buddy. <laughs> I miss it. Springtime is definitely one of the best times of the year to ride. These days are just beautiful. What do you say we have a session on the new trick step up? And Josh has been wanting to do a backflip on this jump, so let's see if he can do it today. Sometimes I lose my mind, get a little ratchet. Just want cash to get us hard. From that place where they move, I bricks in the cup, say hi with a damn nice stick. Broad daylight, I'm still here. Sticker, send a shot so you get the picture. Just lying better, switch the filter. We know how you look. My 
Michael Jackson Thriller, Linka, try to see that you need it You can't have good without ease Race in the cathedral, you don't know who to trust It's a Game of Thrones and I'm Littlefinger Back, 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 back to the bone Sure. Yeah, man. Got to give ourselves a reason to come back, you know? Yeah, man. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so glad I could finally show you another update of Narnia. And as I did mention earlier in this video, I am still dealing with some tendonitis in my elbow. So it's not fully strong enough to go riding like I normally do. I can do kind of a tamer, lighter riding right now. So hopefully that doesn't have to take too much longer to get fully healed. But there are some other videos I'm working on that don't so much use my elbow. Like I'm trying to make a whole big GoPro tutorial video like I did a couple years ago. So I want to make another one of those again. And there's some other videos in the works too. Thank you everyone and we'll see you guys next time.